Hello, Applied Physics students. Here is your um, teaching video for the Concept Development Practice, page 25-2. You are going to want to have a ruler handy as you do this one. So, we're going to be talking about shock waves, which, remember, um, our kind of classic example of that is a supersonic jet. And so we see kind of an airplane pictured here. All right, the cone-shaped shock wave produced by a supersonic aircraft is actually the result of overlapping spherical waves of sound, as shown in figure 2522 in your textbook. Sketches A, B, C, D, and E at the left show the animated growth of only one of the many spherical sound waves shown as an expanding circle in the two-dimensional sketch. The circle originates when the aircraft is at the position shown in A. Sketch B shows both the growth of the circle and the position of the aircraft at a later time. Still later times are shown in C, D, and E. Note that the circle grows and the aircraft moves farther to the right. Note also that the aircraft is moving farther than the sound wave. This is because the aircraft is moving faster than sound. So, here is the plane, and here is the sound wave that it made when it was at that position. Okay, and again, this is that same sound wave, right? It's expanding, it's moving outward because it's the speed of sound. And so, this wave is continuing always to move in an outward direction, and that's why it's getting bigger. Okay. So this is the same sound wave, just as time goes by and as time increases. We're also seeing where the plane is, right? So the plane started here. In this first picture, the plane has moved this far. Now the plane's here. Now the plane's here. Now the plane's here, right? So it, the plane is moving further and further away from where it was when it um, made the sound wave. Careful examination will reveal how fast the aircraft is moving compared to the speed of sound. Sketch E shows that at the same time the sound wave travels from O to A, the aircraft has traveled from O to B, which is twice as far. You can check this with a ruler. So what they're saying is, okay, down here, if we measure from A to or from O to A, we see that it's 1.5 centimeters. And when we do that same measurement, oh, sorry, 2.5. I didn't read that correctly. And when we look at the same measurement to where the plane is, it's 5 centimeters. So we know that that's twice as far which means that the plane is moving at twice the speed of sound. So because 5 centimeters divided by 2.5 centimeters equals 2, the plane is moving at twice the speed of sound. So, question number one. Inspect sketches B and D. Has the aircraft traveled twice as far as sound in the same time in these positions also? So it's asking us to go back to B and measure here, right? And we have half a centimeter and about one centimeter. So one centimeter divided by half a centimeter, right, equals two. They also ask us to do that in picture D, right? So we have, oh, about 1.8. And then we have about 3.1. 
sorry, nope, that was wrong. I didn't read that right. 3.56, about 3.7. So 3.7 centimeters divided by 1.8 centimeters. Okay, is about two as well. So did the aircraft travel twice as far as sound in the same time in these positions also? Yes. For greater speeds, the angle of the shock speed of the shock wave would be. So what they're saying is, if instead of the plane moving here, what if the plane had gotten this far, right? And think about then what our shock wave would look like, right? It would be narrower. During the time that sound travels from O to A, the plane travels twice as far from O to B. So it's flying at twice the speed of sound. So we're going to use some of those same ideas as we do the other page of this assignment. So it says use a ruler to estimate the speeds of the air that of the aircraft that produced the shock waves in the two sketches below. So we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing. Right, we're going to measure from our midpoint to the edge of our circle, which in this case is 1.5 centimeters. And then to the front of it, which is at about 2 point, we'll say 2 point maybe 4, 2.3. We'll say it's about 2.3 centimeters, I guess. So to figure out how fast it's going, we can tell it's going faster than the speed of sound because this airplane is outside the edge of the sound wave. So to figure out how fast it's going, 2.3 centimeters divided by 1.5 centimeters. 2.3 divided by 1.5, and I get about one and a half. times faster than the sound. So aircraft A is traveling about 1.5 times the speed of sound. So we do the same thing for the second picture. So to the edge, um, again, I'd say 1.5 centimeters. Okay, and then to the front is four point maybe seven centimeters. So again, four point seven centimeters divided by one point five centimeters. It's about three. Okay. So we would say the aircraft is traveling about three times the speed of sound. So this next one says draw your own circle anywhere and estimate the speed of the aircraft to produce a shock wave shown below. So again, I kind of want to do a good job drawing my circle. So let me see if I find something circular. So I don't really have anything circular, so I'm going to say here, or actually I'll draw my circle first and then figure out my midpoint. So, okay, so there about is my circle. So maybe there's the midpoint. Okay. So from here to my edge is... 1.8 and from my midpoint to my plane is 9.9.7 9 
So 9.6 centimeters divided by, by 1.8 centimeters. about five and one third. And we'll kind of just say it's about five times the speed of sound. And notice, right, that's quite a bit more. Notice what my cone did up here, right? We said that as our speed increased, our cone would get narrower, right? This one was only going one and a half times the speed of sound. Here's three times the speed of sound, and then here's what five times the speed of sound looks like, okay? So, in the square below, draw a shock wave made by a supersonic missile that travels at four times the speed of sound. So, I'm going to kind of make a circle. It's about one centimeter in diameter, so I'm going to just kind of mark some spots to make my circle because I'm picky about that. You don't have to necessarily be quite as picky if you don't want. Okay, so here's my still rather poorly drawn circle, but remember I measured this to be 1.5 centimeters. Okay, I'll confirm that again and make sure I did that. Oh, nope, I made it only one centimeter. So if I want to go four times as fast, right, then I have to have my plane be at four centimeters out. So here's where my plane's going to be. Okay. And so here's what my shock wave looks like. So this should be four centimeters. So four centimeters divided by one centimeter equals four times the speed of sound. Right, and I can make it look by the other ones. Kind of draw that dashed line. There you go. So again, we can measure um, how much faster than any object. In this case, we talked about sound. An object is moving by measuring and looking at a ratio of the distance that the sound wave moves at the same time the distance that the planar object moves in the same amount of time. So that is Concept Development Practice page 25-2. Have a great day.